Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beamer Barn. In today's episode, we're gonna be working on my E46 wagon. And specifically, we need to clean some of the engine parts like the subframe and the oil pan. And then we're going to be doing the must have M54 engine mod. And that's gonna be the oil pump nut fix. So I've got a really cool kit from Beamer World, which has got a great solution to make sure that that nut doesn't ever back off and cause a catastrophic engine failure. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well as uh, how to clean the uh, engine bits. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get right to work. Well, I'm super happy with how everything's coming out so far, as far as just getting all that slung grease off of the subframe, the oil off the subframe, and the axles and spindles and all that. Now we just need to clean the oil pan. It's really dirty, but we need to get the oil out. And I'm just, I just want to pause and say that I'm really happy to find no metal shavings, nothing, you know, solid down here, which is a great sign. Just a little bit of buildup from obviously this thing having a lot of miles. Um, maybe it could have used more oil changes, but at 230,000, you're gonna have to expect some of this, uh, I guess maybe it's carbon buildup in, in the dry spots where the oil doesn't really get to. So we'll use some rags to get the oil here, and then we'll pressure wash all these uh, parts that have you know oil, grease, and dirt on them. Here we are, everything is cleaned up. Looks super good, fresh, no oil, grease, or dirt trapped. I could have probably gone a little bit longer or harder on some areas. You can see like that's all the way down to the paint, but there's a little bit of grease here. So I'll probably grab a rag and some degreaser to get some of the, uh, the finishing touches on here, get it really nice and clean and uh, also you can see this uh, this part of the oil pan here is very cleaned up the axles the brake calipers no more grease and uh, we're going to be cleaning up these as well because we have some surface rust so probably grind it down and then paint it with some of that rust reformer spray and the calipers we're going to do them a matching silver to match the rear ones that we previously did 
So I hope you enjoyed all that satisfying cleaning footage, but now we have got to get to the things that we have to install under the oil pan while we're doing this job. This is definitely one of those while you're in there scenarios, doing the oil pan gives you a lot of opportunity to change some things. So we've got fresh motor mounts like I mentioned. Here's our oil pan gasket, obviously. Uh, this is the oil level sensor because I'm getting a light on my dashboard. It's kind of like warning you that the oil level sensor is bad. So we have that. These are the seals for the uh, CV shafts that go through the differential. So we're gonna be replacing those. And then we have a whole bunch of like differential uh, plugs here, seals, crush washers. Now, most importantly, we have the Beamer World oil pump nut fix. This is the drilled kind and it comes with a bit of chicken wire here so you can wrap it to the sprocket on your oil pump and that way this thing can never back itself out. So we're going to be installing this and while you could probably just use Loctite on your factory oil pump nut which is what I did on my E36, uh, this is a much more uh, resilient solution. It's just going to guarantee and give you that peace of mind. Well, we got off the uh, oil pump nut and as you see on the sprocket there, it is reverse thread. So you have to uh, turn it clockwise in order to remove it. But one thing that you don't realize is that if your oil pump nut is still torqued on, you're probably gonna end up turning the motor over like I was at first. So I put an 18 millimeter wrench over there and jammed it between the flywheel and the transmission housing. And that keeps the assembly from uh, rotating and we were able to remove the oil pump nut. So now let's go get our new one and let's install it. So we're fully installed now. Remember the uh, nut is torqued to 25 Newton meters. And then you wanna make sure that you install the chicken wire so that it is basically pulling the nut tight, which is again, counterclockwise because this is a reverse thread nut. And there you go. Now we can have some ultimate peace of mind that this thing will never suffer from an oil pump failure. And this probably has to be one of the uh, most important mods that you do on your M54. So uh, glad that we got it taken care of. While we're under here, let's also pull off this old gasket for the oil pan. And uh, that way we can install our new one. So some of the spots on the oil pan here have shown signs that they had silicone gasket maker on them. And I think this looks factory and it's not uncommon from factory for them to have a little bit of silicone in the corners. Cause as you can see, the block meets up at the corners and that's why a little bit of gasket maker or like RTV is used. Same thing on the front as well. You can see it there. And that's because again, the front timing cover is meeting the block. And so there's a little bit of a gap there. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of RTV on our gasket and then we're gonna lay it on the oil pan and then get it installed.
So with all these oil pan bolts snugged up, the last thing that we need to do is we need to get them torqued to spec. So the spec on these M6 bolts is 10 or 12 Newton meters. Uh, to th I think it's supposed to be 10 for the shorter ones and 12 for the longer ones. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and torque these up right now. And then we're gonna change the oil level sensor. So now we have our oil pan completely torqued down to spec and we installed our oil level sensor. So that concludes all that stuff right there. It's sealed up, engine is good to go. But before we install all the all wheel drive components under the car, I wanna finish off by pressure washing the wheel wells as well as the chassis and the underside of the car because we still have a ton of grease and oil that's all around there. So let's go ahead, pull the pressure washer out and then get this thing looking right. So as you can see, I am all wet from doing that job right there, but I'm glad that we did it because the results are worth the work. So now we've got everything 100% cleaned up to be reinstalled back inside the E46 wagon. The only things left to do really are start changing all the seals for the differential and everything like that. These miscellaneous seals that I have right behind me, but I'm not going to bore you guys with those details because they're pretty simple. If you know how to remove a seal, like a rear main seal, for example, then you know how to change these things. So the next episode is going to be regarding the axles because once we get the uh, subframe back up and the differential up and all that, we're going to be installing our brand new axles that we have. And then the next episode after that, we're gonna be looking at the full 10 piece or 12 piece suspension kit that I bought from eBay, which came with everything that we need to fully rebuild the front end. So we're gonna be installing that hopefully getting a good alignment. I have some power flex bushings to install in the front as well. And then once we're all done with those things, we're gonna have the car back on the ground and driving around. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like down below or a comment if you have any tips about other things that you should address when you're doing the oil pan gasket on your BMW. And as always, I hope everyone has an awesome day. We'll see you in the next video.